Hello everyone, welcome back to BTNX channel. Today we are going to see AA aided formula editor. Okay, with the AA aided formula editor, we are going to get the description of the Excel formulas. Okay, imagine you are in a new company and they have given you uh, some data, Excel sheet data. And when you are uh, keeping your cursor on each and every cell, you are finding a lot of formulas. Okay, and you are not able to understand what this formula all about okay so in that type of situation this a aided formula editor can help you okay because it will give the description of the formula okay so let's uh, see that in detail if you are someone using excel in your day-to-day -day job let me tell you something you are going to be replaced unless you are integrating ai in your excel if you integrate ai in your excel workflow let me tell you something you are going to be 10x more productive and you you will be getting that promotion that you deserve if you want to learn all this join me for my two hours workshop on excel using ai i am going to this excel sheet this is the sample thing i have created and we have student id name grade attendance okay and you can see the uh, uh, the resources name the student's name okay their grade and their attendance okay and here we have calculated because if you hover over this uh, uh, cursor onto this uh, uh, cell you can see there is a formula okay and the high for highest grade i have given this formula you can see what is the formula over here okay so like uh, okay and uh, for lowest grade students above 85 and if you are working on a real-time data we will not get this type of explanation okay for the explanation purpose i have given this uh, description so that it will easy to understand rather than directly in entering into the uh, formulas it will help you to understand for that purpose only i have given so with the help of a aided formula editor we are going to find the formula description okay and before that there is an important update guys Okay, so as you all aware that A is taking over the world in such a short span of time, we have seen so many layoffs, millions of jobs replaced by AI, and you don't want to get affected by this recession wave. And A won't replace you, but the person using A will replace your job. So if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career, join our three hours A workshop tools in which we will teach you about the best UA tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career. All the installation steps and other AA tools will be explained detail in our BTNX program. So make your future secure with us. Join our workshop by clicking the link below in the description. Okay, so you need to go to this part. Okay, here this is the uh, site actually. If you go to btnx.in, you will find and uh, like uh, go over here and if you scroll down these are the next upcoming workshops so here you can see the next workshop when it will be on like master a hacks in ms office and uh, you can see the instructors and why you want to join this course and uh, like what you will learn in these workshops all these details are here okay so don't miss to join this workshop guys okay let's go back to our code Okay, so we have seen these. Are, we need to understand. Okay, what is this formula all about? Okay, so for that, this is the Chat GPT tool actually, a aided formula editor. Okay, if you enter this, you will get it. Okay, just hold on. Okay, and uh, this is the cell formula. Okay, I am using this. Okay, I want to know what this content. So it is giving average c2 colon c5 okay if i press this button it will give just hold on okay this formula average calculates the average value of numbers in cell c2 to c5 okay so this is the uh, update okay like uh, what this formula does okay and similarly if you go over here okay and uh, if i press over there This is the maximum okay among this uh, grade i want to find what is the next it is taking some time. yeah okay. 
max c2 to c5. So this formula, max c2 to c5 in Excel is used to find the maximum value within a specified range of cells. So these are the specified range of cells, okay? We have given from c2 to c5, okay? From c2 to c5, we have given, okay? c2 to c5. So the formula is equal to max c2 colon c5 within a specified range of cells. In this case, it's finding the maximum value within the cells c2 to c5, okay? That is one and uh, this is the minimum, okay? So again, let's see. Hold on, it's taking a little time. Let's come. Hmm. The formula is equal to min C2 colon C5 is an Excel function to find the minimum value in the range of cells C2 to C5. It calculates and returns the smallest value among the four cells specified. So that we can find. And the student's grade also we can prepare. Okay? So this is the one. Okay. And I'm going here. And I am entering this. Okay, let's see. So this is like students grade above 85. Okay, I have answered answer. So like C2 to C5 greater than 85 in this thing. Like uh, who are the people who scored above? Like, and in the range 85, it counts the occurrences of values that meet the specific criteria. So two people got above 85. Okay. So that's the thing it is uh, giving. It's not equal to 85, above 85. That is one. And uh, we look up this is. Okay. And uh, this is to find a specific grade of a student. Okay. I have given 102. Okay. That means 102 is uh, Bob Johnson, right? So, right. I have given that specific grade. So, let's see. Okay. And define this occasion ABC. Please try again switching the model under preferences. Okay. It is a little busy. Okay. Error a second. Okay. A small error a second. That's fine. Because it is the server is a little busy. We appreciate your patience. Let's see. Let's see some other thing. This occasionally, occasionally happens in busy time. Please just try again, switching the model under the preferences. Yeah, so it has given. The Excel formulas using the VLOOKUP function is looking for those value 102 in the first column of the range a2 colon d5 if it finds 102 it returns the value in the same row okay so you can see the false parameter indicates that it should find an exact match of 102 okay so that is the like if you look the syntax of vlookup you will come to know okay so that is uh, one way okay and uh, if you hover over this also right you can uh, get the instead of a uh, uh, type instead of a uh, Clicking this thing, if you hover over the here, here also you can find the information. It will bring the details. And 
just concatenate so what it is doing means combining the student id and student name okay so uh, here it is student id is 101 this is a name so it is concatenating we will see let's see. it is the, it is a little busy combines and joins the of cell a2 a dash with spaces on either side and the contents so it is giving a small hyphen that's the thing it is uh, explaining here. The concatenate function is used to combine text from different cells in one cell, as you that you all aware actually. So this is the one. See, it is a loading, you can see. Like that also you can give by hovering over your cell. Since the server is a little busy, yeah, combining, as you can see, A2 into it will be busy. So instead of uh, doing this, you can try that also and this is for grading system okay so if you have given c2 is greater than 90 we are excellent otherwise if c2 is greater uh, greater than 90 if it is uh, 80 it is good else average okay so let's go over here it will be how it has been explanation So not only from here, you can try out with uh, big formulas also. Definitely, it will help you. Okay. Yeah. It's used to assign a grade-based system on the value in the cell C2. If the value in C2 is greater than 90, it will return excellent. If the cell in c2 is greater than 80 but not greater than 90 okay so that is a catch so it is giving the details okay if the cell is the value in the cell is not greater than 80 it will return average so this is the way guys okay so even if you are facing any issues with the formulas that you are not able to understand what this formula details are you can use this tool actually definitely it will help you and it can understand it make you to understand okay uh, so i hope you enjoyed the session guys Take care. Bye-bye. See you again.